Another Grand Power AR, this one is an M4. M4 as in having full auto capability as a potential military contract type device. Got a heavier burial on this one than we did on Freya, as well as uh, a suppressor on it. So just wanted to see, because honestly, I'm sure a lot of you are like me, you think, okay, a non-American company building ARs, they don't have the heritage, they don't have the richness, but they do have all the lessons learned See how it runs. It is a bit gassy in the eyes, but it's suppressed. Play going to singles. Thunk. One's pretty smooth. Yeah, I love hearing that thunk at the end of the range. Not bad at all. For a look at another version of their m4 this is the m4m which is a piston system and i also noticed that the uh, lower receiver is ambidextrous it's pretty cool got a flow through can on it no sights just want to get a feel for how gassy how controllable the basic things that you want to know when you consider having a firearm just this a little bit So with your typical piston guns, you get kind of a prolonged stretched recoil and sometimes it's a little punchy. If I had not been told and seen the piston on this, I don't think I would have known it. Oh, it goes. I'm noticing too, you're not getting as much gas in the face. That's yeah. something that is also a benefit of a piston. Yeah, it's not shooting it all right back here. Try a burst. Fun time. Yeah, much less gas, more controllable. Now it feels a little front heavy, but that's probably the suppressor more than anything else. Um, but for a piston system, that's, that's pretty smooth. To me, a piston system always sounds just more refined. Like, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but I can hear a difference because we just shot the other one to this one yeah and then noticing the gas uh is is visible not just while you're behind the gun but from the side it was noticeable and i i admit i have a personal bias towards piston guns uh but i think my way of describing what you just covered is it's not farting in your face <laughs> which is what a di gun does yeah quick and snappy or just smooth controlled f functionality you know mechanics inside it's yeah, but the, the recoil slam is different. Uh, we'll give you guys some coverage, uh, some footage of close-ups of the system uh, so you can see what it might be similar to or different from what you already know for Piston AR. I, I think I need it longer. I grew up on longer. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. That is pretty nice. That's really smooth. That is so nice. And yeah, yeah no gas in my face. That's awesome. Your, your glasses are still clear. My glasses are still clear. <laughs> <laughs> Time for a close up look at the Ground Power M4M. The M is the piston model. And just a real quick over, overview externally before we break down how this piston system works, because I think it's pretty darn cool. Start up at the end of this muzzle device. Don't worry about that was for the suppressor we were using in the video. You've got your gas adjustment there, which there's a trick to. See barrel profile. I don't know what gas length this is, um, 
but just because it's a shorter barrel, and I'm not sure which models we're going to get in the U.S., so we'll leave that out for now. Of course, no gas vents on that beautiful carrier because you don't need it with a, a piston system. Flipping up, you can see we have an MV bolt release, very handy, very safety, MV magazine release. Ground power's grip, following some of the styling cues from the handgun line, which is pretty neat. And then your standard uh, mil spec or commercial, commercial, no, mil spec <laughs> buffer tube uh, and stock. Now let's dive in and I'll show you how this comes apart because as owner and fan of piston guns myself, I think this system is particularly neat. I'm going to pull the carrier out first just to show you that we're not dumping out all the guts of our piston system and there was nothing to worry about here. That's because this is a short stroke piston and everything is retained up forward of the receiver. The receiver, by the way, you might have noticed, is standard AR receiver height. There's no need for extra height. Everything tucks in nice and low, which helps probably is part of why T and I were able to just pick this up and shoulder it and not have any weird height adjustments to do uh, going over the rail even without sights because the rail is in the same spot it would be on your standard DI gun. We have this beautiful carrier. I love the finish on this. This is Tenifer, QPQ Tenifer, uh, and these are made by Grand Power themselves. Not one of those uh, bought from somebody in the rebranded type deals like we get in the US a lot. I'm going to take the, separate the upper and lower before we dive into the piston just so we've got easier workspace. So all that piston stuff stored safely in the top and staying in there is trapped under this rather cool handguard. Even the adjustment can't come undone, can't tweak on you from high round count or vibrations or anything. Nothing's going to throw this off. It's locked in place by the end of the handguard as you can see there. So to adjust, there's a detent here that unlocks this lever to rotate. Did it just a second ago, I swear. There we go. All the way around. Now the handguard can come off and expose the system. And before any of you guys get your fingers too warm typing out, oh, that's dumb, I don't want to have to remove my handguard to adjust the gas system, you saw how quick and simple it is. And then there's also the simple fact that the only time you're adjusting your gas system really is if it got super dirty to go adverse or if you're going suppressed or unsuppressed. And those are generally shooting conditions you know of in advance and you set up for. So 10 seconds to take this off and put it back on, not something you really need to worry about. I mentioned those different situations because there are four positions on this. It rotates to cover normal, adverse, and suppressed. The fourth one being to remove it. That easy. Then we're going to pull back on the spring-loaded section. Pull that out. You notice there's a relief cut there. And that's what glides over the barrel nut, which is part of how this stays so low. And there's your end of the system. Really smart. Four big, substantial parts that, although one might want to roll on you, you're not going to drop or lose in the field. And no crazy surprises when you pop open the back end of the gun to get to the carrier. I think that's a brilliant system. This barrel has a nice heavy profile. In fact, after we were shooting while we were waiting for the suppressor to cool off, the barrel had uh, returned to normal before the can had. I'm really curious to hear from those of you that are piston gun owners or have considered buying one, how you think this system stacks up to what you've got or what you've looked at. To me, as an owner of a few piston system guns, this is smart, simple, four large pieces, aside from rolling, you know, no loss of losing these and you're definitely not going to have any problems in the field because you can get access to the bolt and carrier without pulling everything apart. It's, um, I mean, going back to kind of our impressions at the range, um, to be totally honest with you guys, when I heard that Grand Power, one of my favorite companies was doing ARs, it was kind of a yay for them, but I've got plenty of ARs. And I admit that was, I was dumb. I did not uh, stop and think like, wait a minute. It's the geniuses at Grand Power that are doing ARs. They're gonna do something different and they're gonna do it better. I think we found part of how they're doing it better. That's just my opinion. Curious to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching.